Hey guys, this video is going to be based on how I did my nails. You guys, um, I am not a professional. I've, I've never actually done my own nails before. This is what they came out looking like. Um, so, as you see the video, if you see things, if you do nails yourself and you see things that I do wrong or whatever, um, I'm not trying to say I'm a professional or anything. It's just the way I did it. You know, I took a look at some videos and I just kind of um, went by what I remember um, the times that I've gotten my nails done, what they do. So, yeah, I hope you guys like it, and hopefully you guys learned something from this, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! I already put cuticle oil, and I washed my hands, and then I'm just filing them down, my nails, filing them down a little bit, just to kind of roughen them up and take off the, um, the natural shine that they have. Okay, so from there I'm just going to go ahead and choose what nails, um, the right size for me, and I'm going to start gluing them on. So this is, this looks like that's a good size for me there. And this is the glue I'm using. See, I glued on all the nails already. Now, it would be nice if I can keep them this long just so I can play with the decoration a little bit more and the design of the nail. I'd have more space, but first off, I don't really like them <laughs> this long. Um, you know, I have things to do around the house and I can't really function that well with them that long. So I'm not used to it. I know some girls have them this long and are able to function with them, but maybe that's just because they're used to it. And like I said before, at my job, I'm not supposed to have long nails. So I'm going to go ahead and cut these down. And I'm going to keep them pretty short, actually. So, let's see. I'm thinking right around there. Alright, guys. So from there, I'm just going to go ahead and make sure they're all even. And cut off whatever more, if I need to cut off any more, to make them the same length. Okay, I'm going to say this is fine. So now I'm just going to go ahead and start um, doing the filling part. So what I did already is I mixed some of the, of this pink powder with this pink one here, with, which is pink with like um, silver uh, glitter. So I have it here now, and I'm going to take some liquid and my brush. I'm going to dip the brush in the liquid first, and then I'm going to grab Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that to all my nails, or all the nail tips first. And just clean up the bottom wherever I don't want this glittery part on. And just make sure that I don't have too much on the side. Okay guys, so this is what I've done so far. I don't know if you guys can see how pink and glittery that is. Uh, I'm going to follow them down just a tad bit, and then just to make them a less list a little less chunky and then I'll go ahead and put the pink powder over all of it. Alright guys I went ahead and did that already. I filed them down a bit and this is what they look like now. Now I'm going to go ahead and put the pink powder on the whole nail. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dump some on the cap here. I've got my paper towel on the side just so I can wipe my brush with. Kind of shape it a bit. Alright, so I'm going to dip the brush in the liquid first, and then I'm just going to dip it in the powder, just to grab a little bit of product, wait for it to get wet, then I'm going to put it directly on the nail. And as you can tell, even the pink powder has a lot of glitter in it, 
So I don't know if you guys can see the difference from where I applied um, the first part to what I have just did right now. I need to go out and buy some clear powder so that I can make it look more just like the tip is pink. Alright you guys, so that's what I'm going to go ahead and do to the rest of my nails. And then I'll show you guys what it looks like in the end. What I do is just shape them, fat, um, file them down if they're too chunky or if they're not even enough or if it's too long on one side or whatever. I just got to fix them. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm just going to file them all and then I'll show you guys what it looks like. Okay guys, so I finished my nails. I finished shaping them and everything. I washed my hands. So now what I'm doing is I'm using this black nail polish. Looks like this. And I'm making shapes like these, kind of making it look like leopard print. Just on the bottom though, not on the tip. And I'm going to go ahead and do that to all my nails. This is what the nails look like now. So now I'm going to run this gray glitter all across the bottom and the top of the nail. That's what it looks like. I'm going to go ahead and use this um, brush here and grab these little things here. I don't even know what you call them. Let me show you what they look like. Oh, I actually put some on already, so I'll show you here. I'm just going to put them on the tip of the nail. Can you guys see that? So I'm just going to grab a little bit of glue There we go, that's what it looks like. Oops. Okay, so I'm just going to do the same thing to the rest of my nails, and I'll show you guys what it looks like afterwards. Okay, guys, so I'm all done now. This is the finished product. All I'm going to do now is just apply this um, top coat just to the nail. I don't want to apply it over the little detailing here. I don't even know what you call these beads or whatever you want to call them. Alright girls, so that is it. I'm all done. I hope you guys like this tutorial. Hope it was informative. You guys can actually learn something from it. Um, if you have any questions or comments or anything, just go ahead and leave a comment below or send me a message. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Like a star, a star, a star, a star, like a star.